Hi there, this is Catherine. Thanks you for listening to my SEO Tips micro podcast. So before we get into today's SEO tip, I just wanted to share with you the ways you can support the podcast if you're enjoying all the tips and finding them useful. So you can send me a donation at buymeacoffee.com slash Catherine W. Ong, O-N-G. And that's Catherine with a K. Any and all levels of donation are appreciated. It will help me offset the cost of producing the podcast. So that's buymeacoffee.com slash K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E-W-O-N-G. I'd also encourage you to subscribe to our email list to make sure you're not missing any future episodes or any other news about the SEO Tips podcast. And to do that, you'd go to wostrategies.com slash newsletter. Okay, on with today's tip. Is HSTS enough? Do you still need 301 redirects? Hello, and thanks for listening to SEO Tips today. So this tip is based on a client conversation of mine with their developers of the web platform they're moving to. So let me set the scene. We've carefully pulled together data on all of their domains and subdomains, reviewed hundreds of thousands of URLs that either receive organic traffic in Google Analytics for the last six months, backlinks, uh, or URLs that are ranking in the top pages of Google, and we're mapping redirects. The end result is a sheet that has hundreds of URLs on it. And the developer mentions that we don't need to include HTTP URLs because their platform checks for the HTTP version and, quote, converts it to HTTPS before then working through the redirect. It seems to me like they're talking about HSTS, Um, which brings me to the topic of today's tip. Is HSTS enough or do you still need to do the 301 redirects? So let's start with the basics of what this HSTS stuff is. So it's a response header that lets your site tell browsers that it should only be assessed by using HTTPS instead of using HTTP. And here's how John Mueller from Google answered the question regarding the redirects versus versus HSTS. Quote, yes, always redirect if you can. HSTS is great to add on top of redirecting and HTTPS, but I recommend not doing that if you're just moving the site over for the first time. Take your time, do the HTTPS right first, and then think about the implications of HSTS. So yes, you still need individual 301 redirects for those HTTP URLs if you want to maintain the traffic and the rankings. And I would be rich if I got paid every time a client comes to me because they lost traffic from migrating to HTTPS incorrectly. And I'm looking at you, Fed agencies. So anyway, that's your tip for today. If you're migrating and wondering if you still need to redirect those HTTP URLs individually, the answer is probably yes. If you see links to them or if they're ranking or if human beings have seen them and visited them. So keep in mind that also that Google does not crawl more than five hops in a redirect. So a migration is a great time to think about editing those redirects. So thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for another SEO tip.